Number 10, and what a great YouTuber to start with. A varied approach from the chaps from the water's edge. Some excellent sea fishing video in their collection that goes back five years. There's plenty of fish catching tips and action. The audio's good and there are some great longer videos here, including boat trips for Cod and Thornback Ray. All in all, a well presented, broad reaching channel. The conditions are good. We've got a nice, a nice sized tide. It's best to niche down to the beach or boat fishing section on their video page where they create a good atmosphere. It's as if you were fishing with them too. They've got a sound understanding of the angling fundamentals and a genuine enjoyment of the fishing environment. Great stuff and what a good channel to kick us off. You can find them over at From the Water's Edge on YouTube or follow the link at the end of this video. Total Sea Fishing are our number nine, and they are Total Sea Fishing, as in the magazine, but they do have their own YouTube video as well. They do things like tackle unboxing and um, shots from trade shows and stuff. But I think their best stuff, and why they're on this list, are some of their early videos. They do a Fishing with Legends feature. I really do like the Doing the Conger in Ogmore as well. That's a three-part series, and it's one of their earlier videos. Um, do check out their Fishing with Legends videos. There's some great humour with the legends down on the beach there. So they're well worth a look at. You can subscribe to them at the end of this video. At number eight is my channel, Sea Fishing Marks. Uh, these are a selection of sea fishing beach marks around the UK. How to get there, what seasonal fish you might catch, and a brief introduction on, on how to actually catch the things. Uh, try to make them so they suit you if you're fishing there for the first time and just really need to know the basics to get started. Well, it wasn't really this resource when I started angling. I had to rely on the mark guides in the back of Sea Angler magazine and I've tried to embrace that style uh, and it's been really good fun getting out and about and talking to the local anglers at each, each venue. There are some amazing places to fish on the UK's coastline and I wanted to make these videos like a reference guide so that people can try somewhere new or relish an old venue or maybe even compare notes on a mark that they know well and even better than I do. So the only problem is getting these videos out there. I've still got 10 or so that I need to get out really. Um, concentrate on the Lynn Peninsula up in North Wales and the south coast of England at the moment. But it'd be great if you could subscribe or maybe even make a comment, that'd be brilliant. So I'm still finding my feet in terms of filmmaking and just trying to figure out the camera settings at the moment. Um, and in the future I'd like to interview a friendly local for every mark. Our number seven is Beach and Predator Fishing Antics. And this short run of fishing videos sticks out as the most personal on the top ten. There's a lot of sort of head to camera and it's almost like a diary form of fishing. Just check out his fishing journey, it's so wonderfully personal and uh, Chaz has such a natural presentation style. I always feel compelled to watch how he gets on and watch the videos right the way through. Also, anyone with videos on cormorant fishing and microwaved black lug is well worth a watch. You can subscribe, like all the videos in this top 10, at the end here. So we'll grab one of those tentacles. It's down to Cornwall for our next on the list with some fantastic Cornish scenery from this series of YouTube videos. Uh, you feel like you're on a coastal journey around some of the world's most beautiful coastline and most of the action is from the kayak and it's a real treat to see some of those clear Cornish waters with a visibility we can only envy from elsewhere along the coast. He has a great presentation style and you can watch these sea fishing videos just to enjoy the environment, but there are some excellent titles to watch, such as Float Fishing for Mackerel, Drifting for Bass in Shallow Water, A Guide to UK Sea Fishing Clothing, Bait Fishing for Sea Bream from the Rocks. Uh, he's got sections on tackle and techniques, and there's a few nuggets for the bass fanatics out there and even some underwater footage of bass alongside the kayak. My favourite video was the one for Gilthead Bream and uh, that's a great introduction to his channels and I'll put the links up after this video so please take a look, subscribe to it 
Um, I'm sure it'll make you want to go and fish those Cornish waters next time. Next up is Totally Awesome Fishing Show, and this will need no introduction. They are the behemoth of the fishing YouTube world. Their videos receive a huge following, and they benefit from consistently releasing videos every Friday night. They're fronted and professionally edited well by well-known angling journalist Graham Pullen, uh, with his son Mark, who does the editing bits, I think. Um, they make compelling, fun videos. They're backed up by a competent knowledge of over 50 years of angling experience. Um, the guy's nuts, but in a good way, and he combines this charismatic presentation style with some solid angling expertise and experience. Their channel is the best set out and most comprehensive out there. And to be honest, it's more like a TV series, which is um, what I think they've tried to do, backed up with all that social media and merchandise. So it's definitely a channel to subscribe to. Um, my favourite video is when Graham tries using a bait attractor underneath the silt in the Bristol Channel to attract congers and cod and the next day. And it was brilliant coming back the next day to see what effect it had. Gary Wood's channel is our number four and he produces an excellent YouTube video series. Based from venues in the northeast of England, almost all the videos have some interesting catches. He's great at combining fish catching action shots uh, alongside some good hints and tips too. Each video is well edited and has been niched down so you can easily find a particular species you might want some more information on. I like his LRF or light rock fishing videos too on here and his use of music really helps in the production quality. It's the balance of a how-to video alongside watching him fish that really makes these videos. So if you're in the northeast, then it would definitely enthuse you to get out to somewhere like South Shields Pier at least. So thanks Gary, another great channel and you're our number four. Where to Shorefish is our number three on the top ten guide and it's a great fishing guide this for beach anglers. It's a reference really to fishing marks real emphasis along the south coast including Kent and Sussex marks. We're told where we can park and things to watch out for in terms of snags and some good tips for fishing each beach venue. It's made me want to fish a few new marks and I love the inclusion of postcodes. Another great addition is the use of the water depths as well, particularly around the harbours. It makes it a lot easier. There is some real respect for easy access venues for disabled anglers too and I suggest you check them out. You never know, it might have your local beach mark on there or perhaps somewhere that you've been wanting to try for a while. As with all these videos, there's the link at the end of this top 10. Fisho Shore Angling Videos. This is the go-to guy for sea fishing videos on YouTube. He has always promoted everyone else. And everyone else's channels, he'll make great comments and he uses online forums to promote fishing videos. So it's an honor to try and promote him really and also his own videos are some of the most genuine and humble out there. He has recently returned from a spell out and I know that the YouTube community have missed him. Just look at some of the comments on his latest video release. I've enjoyed all his videos over the years but a good place to start will be his latest Black Bream video. Perhaps you could watch Clip It and Whack It. What a great title that is. Um, and also the bigger videos in terms of a following. There's a Bass of a Lifetime video on there. And also he does a good one on black lug digging. That's back in 2015. The man's a YouTube legend. And if you haven't subscribed to him, I recommend it. I just love that he gets uh, to his fishing spot by push bike. He even straps the tripod on along with the fishing gear. And that's a video tripod. Um, just so he can make the videos for us all to enjoy. So it's a big thumbs up for this good gentleman and personally a big thank you as well for keeping us all motivated and making sea fishing videos with all your positive comments. So that's our number two. Thanks very much sir. And our number one is the Fishing Brothers channel. Everyone will have their favourites, but this one's mine. To give you an idea of how they do their videos, they'll often start off their fishing story in a car en route to a venue. 
anticipating the fishing ahead. Um, once there, there's always some good catches with big bass, conger and rays caught regularly. Now they often fish the Bristol Channel and Chesil and they'll even bring their dogs along with them too. The videography is great with no messing around. There's fast cuts and edits using great quality footage. The presentation style is incredibly natural and it's so watchable. I've got lots of favourites from their 30 videos, but if you do want a place to start, how about checking out their conga video called My PB Conga. And there we have it, our number one from all the channels out there. For all round watchability, these dudes are my favourite. So please send them a message if you found them from this top 10, they're a deserved number one. I'd love to hear about your favourites or even your own channel so please comment under this video if there's someone I've missed. It's been really hard to narrow things down to just 10 and there will be some incredible footage and channels appearing month on month as sharing video online has never been easier.